Hello, this is Chris Peplinski here, here to talk about my latest review for the uh, movie Going Out in Style, um, which happens to be a remake of a 1979 movie of the same name, but in this version, stars Michael Caine, Morgan Freeman, and Alan Arkin. They play the characters of Jill, William, and Albert, who work in a, one of those steel companies for like over 40 years and face retirement, and um, of course, you know, you know, as a re as a result of company, you know, structuring, I guess, merging or whatever, however you want to see it. You know, unfortunately, their pensions become, uh, you know, an unfortunate loss, which you know is pretty sad because it's like saying, like, why work for over 40 years if you're gonna just get screwed out of your pension and, you know, always feeling like, you know, the good guys get screwed and then the big banks and the corporations always the ones, you know, that you know get away with everything. So. Um, you know, the trio decided to come up with an idea to, um, you know, rob a bank after, uh, you know, Joe witnesses a, you know, bank robbery in the beginning of the movie feeling, you know, he wants to, you know, steal back the pension that was uh, stolen from him and his friends. And he, he also deals with, like, his own uh, hardship, you know, including have to deal with the possibility of losing his house to his daughter and his granddaughter stay with him and um willie has his own issues as well you know also dealing with uh kidney failure and then i guess because of financial difficulties doesn't get a chance to see his daughter and his uh grant and granddaughter as well so um and the case of uh alan arkin's character you know i guess you know he deals with the fact of being old and lonely and then, you know, I guess trying to find someone until he find, you know, I guess he finds romance of his own. Uh, and Margaret's character was actually, you know, pretty funny and hysterical in this movie. I would say, um, one of the things I liked about the movie was how it, it kind of used New York as a scenery, like its own particular characters. Since you see a lot of uh, Astoria in particular, and I guess certain parts of Brooklyn and Manhattan, especially Chambers Street, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I would definitely say this is definitely, you know, something that anybody, both young and old, uh, could get into. And I would say that it was better than I expected, you know, if, even though it was like a caper movie, a comedy caper movie about a trio of old, you know, guys trying to take back what was rightfully theirs. But you get like a few good laughs and it teaches some, I guess, important life lessons if you want to call it so i mean hopefully for those that see the video hopefully they find this helpful and, and i guess in determining their own judgment for the movie and whoever sees the video they can always like you know the video comment share whatever and hopefully i'll be back soon with you know the highly anticipated fate of the furious the eighth chapter in the fast and the furious franchise okay thank you everyone